we're going to look at fitting and using a bungee. A bungee is a long piece of elastic which is fitted over the horse's head in order to encourage it to work in a frame. To fit the bungee you'll need a girth with a D-ring attachment to it so you can clip it. If you don't have one of these you may have a leather loop for, which is for attaching running reins or various other pieces of equipment that you might have that are requiring to be attached to the girth. If you don't have one of these you can improvise. We have here made a, another loop using an old throat lash of a broken headpiece. It's a nice thin piece of leather and is therefore really good at just being used as a loop to go around the girth if you need to. Here we can see the bungee. We can see how elastic it is. It can be adjusted with a loop that goes over the top of the horse's head. You can pull this to make it shorter or longer. The bungee is fitted by putting it over the top of the horse's head, feeding it through the bit rings from the outside in, first on the one side, and then on the other side. The straps go between the horse's front legs, clipping onto the girth, either onto the D-ring or the loop that you have put in position. The bungee is fitted so that when the horse is standing with his head in a normal position, it's just slack and relaxed. You can see that as soon as some pressure is applied on the bungee, the horse responds immediately just by lowering his head. It just shows how sensitive the horses are when they have pole pressure applied. When introducing the horse to the bungee, it's always a good idea to use it on the lunge first. Just gets the horse familiar with the pressure on the pole. This pressure is, of course, the absolute basic of natural horsemanship, i.e. pressure and release. We want to encourage the horse to stretch his neck down and reach forward. Therefore, he's using his top line, swinging his back and letting him loosen up all the way across the top. The horse should walk comfortably, stretch himself in a nice relaxed fashion. This can take a little time with horses that have a high set on head and neck. A young horse who perhaps initially just has a little objection to the pressure, but quite quickly, most horses react really well, just relax and accept the pressure. You can see the horse is happy to stretch down. The bungee allows as much as he wants to do for him to go down. He just trots around in a rhythm. He's very calm, he's very relaxed. The only time the bungee will do anything is if he lifts his head up, then he feels a little pressure on the pole, which encourages him to lower his head back down again and stretch. For an older horse, it's an excellent way just to limber him up before riding. Encourages him to stretch forward and down, use his back, nice relaxed fashion, preparing him for work. Now we can look at the horse working in the bungee. From the horse's point of view, it's just encouraging him to stretch his top line. He's reaching forward and down, nice long swinging stride. And then as the rider takes up the contact and begins to collect up the walk, the bungee becomes a little tighter, which then keeps the horse in the frame. As he's shortened his frame, he's just raising his neck nicely, beginning to just drop his nose a little to the rider's hand and creating a much better frame. From an instructing point of view, one of the most useful things for using the bungee so that you can ensure that the rider is not unnecessarily using the hands, focusing on where they're going, the energy of the horse, what's happening underneath them and correct application of the aids. Riders always keen to keep their horses in an outline. The tendency to overuse the hands is extremely common. It's absolutely fine to jump small jumps with your bungee on. From the horse's point of view, helps to keep him round in a frame, encourage him to keep his head still as he's coming to the fence. And again, when going away from the fence, when the rider may need to make some small adjustments. 
for a young horse is a really important part of education. The bungee is very flexible so the horse can still lift his head and look clearly to see what he's doing. The bungee then just encourages him to stay soft when required. From the rider's point of view, it means they don't have to worry about the horse's frame or staying in an outline. The bungee has done that job for them. They can concentrate on where they're going, applying the aids correctly, focusing on other things when they're jumping particularly, things like the line, the approach, the rhythm, all the things that are very important. Particularly on landing there we could see it just helped the rider to regain the rhythm she wanted as the horse came off the back of that fence, a slightly bigger jump. The bungee just holds the horse's head steady, encouraging him to stay in a very easily controlled canter. Always good to see the horse have a good stretch after work. The bungee allows the horse to stretch down and forward absolutely as much as he wants to. Shows that this horse has used his back. Very comfortable in working in this bungee.